In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christos Anesti. Why is this reason? El Messia come. And Christum Yad. Le Christ resuscite. Christos Anbiat. Why is this reason? What should I do? This was the question that Thomas pondered with for an entire week. What should I do? What should I believe? Because I'm receiving this information about the resurrection of the Lord, but I saw him dying and dead. And they tell me that his reason, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. This is how Thomas was broken within himself for an entire week. And this is how we many times are feeling, doubting, receiving conflicting information and we don't know what decision to make and what to do. It is one of the most troubling human experiences. And especially in the last year, all of us went through this all of us receive so many conflicting information and having so much information from all news channels and all social media and everybody obviously is not trying to give us the real information but to serve their own agenda it is so confusing what should i do who should I believe? Who should I trust? This is how Thomas felt, and this is how we feel so many times. What did what did change Thomas's inner turmoil and brought him peace when he saw the Lord? And he was convinced that indeed he is risen from the dead, he found his peace again. And he explains, my Lord and my God, and this is how we feel when we finally receive the information that we needed, and our mind makes the connection with the heart, and we feel like one again. We feel there is unity within us again. And Jesus tells Thomas something very interesting. Something very interesting. Thomas, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Now these words of the Lord are very much misunderstood, even in the Christian world. Many people think that Jesus was talking about believing without seeing, having a blind faith. He's not talking about that. He's, talk he's talking about something completely different. In your true Greek New Testament, the word for blessed used in this verse is Makarios. Makarios doesn't mean blessed. It means blessed in a way, but it means a lot more than this. Makarios, it means to be raised above. To be raised above the situation, to be raised above the worries and the troubles and the complete information of this world because our heart is connected with God. Our heart is connected with a much higher reality than the conflicting news 
and the formation of this world. Our heart is connected with God who is above everything. But about how this connection is made, about how we could become ourselves raised above, Macarius, blessed, so that we are not troubled anymore by this conflicting news and we have more and more unity and peace within us and among us, we are going to talk that really next Sunday. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.